Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Tenorshare. To celebrate Christmas and the new year 2021, Tenorshare is hosting incredible holiday deals. Here's your chance to participate and your chance to win a free copy of the HitPaul editing software absolutely free. You can also now grab the 6-in-1 bundle software for only $99 or 70% off individual software as well. You can try your luck and get a free online order by Tenorshare by following the event rules. So what are you waiting for? Check out Tenorshare. Links will be in the description and down below. So today we're taking a look at iOS 14.3 one week later. As per usual, in this video I'd like to talk about bugs, bug fixes, improvements, additional new features and changes that I've made come across, and of course, the YouTube community poll. That's where you guys provide some feedback on the latest software, and in this video we're going to go over everything. So let's just dive right in. Now the first thing I want to talk about is bugs and bug fixes. So Apple has acknowledged that there was an issue with text message notifications not being delivered for some users on iOS 14 and 14.3 release notes indicate that Apple has addressed this issue. However, has it really been addressed? Well, I can say that I've actually spoken to family members that continue to have this issue where the text messages that I sent them were not delivered at all. So if you're having this issue on the latest 14.3, I would like to hear from you. I personally haven't encountered this issue on the latest software, but again, some users continue to report that this is an issue on the latest 14.3. So let me know. Are you still seeing issues with the text messages, notifications not being delivered to your iPhone on the latest 14.3? Now there's also additional bugs that Apple really didn't mention on their release notes for 14.3 that many users were reporting on, especially Wi-Fi and cell connection 5G on iPhone 12. Now in terms of Wi-Fi, I can say that Apple has definitely improved the Wi-Fi connectivity and persistence. Now in the cell connection and 5G, what I do have to say is that in my personal experience, 5G hasn't really been the best on the iPhone 12. Let me know your experience so far with 5G on iPhone 12. That's all going to depend on your carrier, the region, how the connection and performance is overall where you live or where you're at. But I can't really say that 5G has been an impacting feature for me on iPhone 12. Unfortunately, I just don't have those speeds in my region. But if you do have them, I would like to hear from you. How is 5G? Has it improved for you? in your region. Now another issue that many iPhone users reported on were a green tint on the display of the iPhone. Now let me show you here under accessibilities display and filters. I'm going to run a green tint here. This is what some users are reporting on. Their iPhones have this greenish tint on their display. Now Apple didn't really make any mention of this on the latest 14.3 release notes and some users still do report that this is an issue on their devices and my advice to those users is take your iPhone into Apple, have them get it checked out because a green tint over your display is definitely not something that should be there. But I would like to hear from you if you had this issue on previous versions of iOS, has 14.3 fixed this for you? Next I want to talk about changes that I've noticed within the software. Number one, with the AirPods Pro, the connection platter now, if you have the new feature optimized battery charging enabled you will now see the optimized battery charging information so it would say optimized battery charging your airpods are scheduled to finish charging depending on the time that you normally pick them up so yeah a new feature within the platter for connecting airpods pro now gives you that prompt as well now siri also became slightly improved with ios 14.3 now this one is a server side improvement so you may find this also on previous versions of ios this is not a software feature but what does a horse sound like a horse sounds like this what does a dog sound like here's a pomeranian now you can get more specific you can actually ask her let's say what does a boxer sound like? A boxer sounds like this. What does a chihuahua sound like? Here's a chihuahua. So you can get very specific with Siri. Siri knows new sounds or plays new sounds, not only animals, but also other sounds as well. You can venture with Siri and ask her uh, different things and she would give you the sound for that particular uh, thing or animal or whatever it is that you would like to ask. So yeah, this is a server side update. This is not necessarily something new on 14.3. Siri gets updates server side. So yeah, that's something definitely new. Now, another new thing that I forgot to cover on my initial coverage for 14.3, if you want to watch that, 
that links will be in the description so if you go into the app store and you're looking for an application for example let's go to this one right here and you can now see more information in terms of privacy on how your data is being used so you can now find all that information under privacy i did talk about this but didn't really go over it and there it is all the privacy how your data is being used by that particular application where your information is going what type of data is being collected and so forth so now let's go ahead and take a look at the youtube community poll this is of course where you guys provide some feedback on how the software has been working for you and of course the question this week was how is ios 14.3 working for you now out of 8,300 votes approximately 55 percent of you guys are having a great experience which is a good thing obviously 15 percent of you guys are still experiencing some bugs 5% of you guys are not having a good experience with iOS 14.3 and 25% of you guys are not even running the latest OS. Now, one of the most popular comments here talks about theming and the apps being redirected. Now, if you didn't watch my video where I showed you how to theme your iPhone without seeing this app transition, links will be in the description. With iOS 14.3 Beta 3, Apple removed those transitions and you could actually theme your iPhone and it would actually open the application with your themed icon. Now, it just gives you that transition or redirecting once again unfortunately there is a workaround for that if you go to settings you head on over to accessibilities motion and then turn on reduce motion here you can actually open the app without any animation and it'll take you straight to the application that's themed for the icon that's themed this is the watch it opens in watch with no transitions file opens files no transitions etc now the next most popular comment here talks about how wi-fi connection and speeds have improved for iphone 10s users and that's obviously a good sign so 15 votes some of you guys are definitely seeing improvements in wi-fi wi-fi connectivity and speeds the next most popular comment speaks of everything that i just talked about about theming your iphone where i showed you guys how to do it without having to go through the app transition as i mentioned Apple had removed it in beta 3 and reinstated the transitions in the official final build, unfortunately, but you can use the actual workaround that I just showed you. And some users are still reporting green tint display issues on iPhone 12. And that's pretty much it. You guys can always come back to these YouTube community polls. You guys can vote, express your thought. You can also comment, and that way everyone can get a bigger picture on how the software is performing overall. And that is my weekly coverage of iOS 14.3. One week later, there's still some bugs some improvements as well and there's everything that i have for you guys thank you for watching today's video and i'll see you on the next one peace